Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, and I do a little bit of this, a lot of that, sometimes this. So I am in a decluttering sort of um, phase. I lost a really good friend like about six weeks ago, and another really good friend a year ago, and it's just stuff, right? And they both love things, and when you're gone, you're gone, and it's just stuff. So. It just, you know, has spurred me on to let stuff go and to make room for new things in my life. <clears throat> I'm going to keep anything that sparks joy, if you will, or makes me happy, is useful. Um, and even stuff that someday will be, maybe I'll use it, you know, but I can't have a house full of one day, right? But I'm going to start off differently, y'all. I'm going to go down here with the tape stacks, which is usually on my hauls, but... Um, I got these, they were on sale for $3, so it's Ritz Crispy Thins Cheddar, and mm. you got it. 21 chips is a serving, tasty, super light, like air. All right. So, do y'all have a favorite cracker I should try? Let me know in the comments. I am doing four of these, at least three. This is my third one. And I just took an hour break. I have some protein shake. Not protein shake, uh, well, a protein smoothie. It's peaches, blueberries, grapes, and um, spinach. So good. I feel revived. 25 things, y'all. This is a brand new juicer. I have asked all my friends. Nobody wants it. My friend Mimi, long gone, um, really wanted me to juice. <laughs> thought that would be it but you know what I never have I'm probably not going to I'd much rather have a smoothie like that than just the juice of something plus y'all go buy the tangerine juice at Trader Joe's that's all the juice you need number one this might be 10 but I tried to ask my friends but everyone's like they don't have room okay um Got some yarn in here. My friend gave me this. So I'm just going to call this two. Look how cute. Oh, actually, no. This is Angela's. Oh, this is Angela's bag. Yeah, I'm going to keep that for now. Yeah, no, I'm keeping that. That doesn't count. Okay. I'm still going through stuff from my... not keep right here. What's in here? That's cute. Okay. I decided to let the paper go. That's one, two. So I let this go. Three. Okay, I just decided to let this go. I want to go though. Okay. Four. This go. I had no idea what I really wanted, but I won't be satisfied until I get it. Just another cute little notebook. Step five. I think this I'm going to keep in my car. It's just not in the best shape. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, Creative Studio... Some of the paper, but you know what? I'll let Joe decide. Five, six. I'm going to keep that in my car. Um, same thing. Seven. Eight. Cute little another one. This one's meditation. Nine. Some post-it notes, 
11, 12, 13, and this little notebook, 14. Calculator, 15. Okay. So that is 15, y'all. I said I'm gonna load my car up and then um, tomorrow after work drop it off. So we're at 15. I'll take that in. It looks like a bag of interesting things, a box of interesting things. So let's just start. We're at 15. Um, a little bit room here. A Cupid doll. 16. I love, looks like a Vivian girl. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, poor thing. Twenty. I have to keep this. I just, I have to. We're at 20. So this might, mm, okay. This is some river stones. I think I'll keep them. They're heavy. Okay. Some of this is, some of these are, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't think she can go to anyone. Another one. 21. I remember this. So this was um, lights. No idea if they work. I don't see why they wouldn't. But they were little TVs. So let me plug them in. So they kind of Dick Van Dyke show. Get smart. Is this something worth hundreds of dollars? Andy Griffith. Um, My Three Sons. Hillbillies. Is that 22? You guys, I think some of these are my dolls. 22, oh my God. 23, 24. Oh, keychain, 25. Bunch of weird stuff. So, 25 weird things. I mean, you know what? She always says you never know what you're gonna get from me, and that is the truth. So these are about a thing of dolls. 
some of these dolls my father gave me. So I'm not doing a good job of honoring them. Um, like this thing. But my dad is not a doll. This thing. Look, she's lost an arm. She smells bad. I might just have to let them go in the trash because it's not my dad, right? This was, um, he might be good enough, I don't know. This was a Russian doll when my dad went to Russia. I think I can let her go. Some kid might play with her right now. She's got that match. Why I love this thing, y'all, I don't know, but I love, I love it so much that it was in, um, So I think she's going to have to go. She was a, I think she was a match to him. Yeah. The two Russian dolls. But probably from 1977. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let her go. My Spanish doll. He would bring me back dolls. But I, you know, I just haven't done a good job of taking care so yeah um yeah let's just call this oh my lord so my barbies <sighs> let's call this 25 number three or four and um yeah weird again see what is what do memories mean what do things mean if you're not honoring it like i have a doll that's in my laundry area my japanese doll my dog got me so if you're not honoring it trash then it's clutter right the memory of my dad bringing me back dolls is not attached to the doll attached to my brain and the experience I had with my dad not the thing to remind me and honestly if you don't I mean these things have been through the war I mean 57 years old I've moved I don't know how many times in my lifetime and carrying these things around and they're just old now and not taking care of them. they're yucky they're yucky so yeah let go of things you know I could have maybe given them away ages ago and Someone might have enjoyed playing with them. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that part of it. But I do know that I'm not going to have this kind of thing. It's sort of a treasure, but not a treasure. The memories are treasures. The memory of me now opening a box of these things that have kind of spoiled. Not something I want to hang on to, you guys. Really not something I want to hang on to. But this is the point. This is energy sitting in my garage. You know unattended, not wanted, but not quite willing to give it up, I'm ready. I'm ready. They're just dolls. And right now they're not even dolls. They're trash. They're literally trash. So keep the memory, lose the trash, right? Wow. I was thinking, wow, this is a weird thing to end on, but you know what? It might be the most, I'm going to cry. Yeah, what have I been hanging on to? Why have I been hanging on to it? What does stuff mean? <sighs> Why am I hanging on to things that don't, don't matter? I don't add anything that actually clutter up my life. You know, this new place I'm working, it's been humid and I, the only way to best describe it is my brain has felt sticky, like sticky. And that's how my life feels sometimes, sticky, right? Like there's so much, it's just like, I want it to be clear and I want the circulation, I want air to move, I want, I don't know, I want to appreciate what I have. I can't appreciate what I have when it's all in boxes in my garage, you just can't. But I'm proud of myself too. Maybe this is absolutely perfect because it's coming towards the end of this major project. So I'm obviously 
going to continue, but, um, I mean, I kind of, in my head, when a minute I saw one of those dolls, I thought, oh my God, you know, um, but maybe they had broken earlier and I just didn't want to let them go because they were broken, but they were, you know, I mean, she's kind of looks like she's been played to death with. And I'm sure I did. Oh, look at her cute little petticoats. Um, yeah, my dad flew when Brezhnev came to this country and we got all kinds of fun stuff. And he, when he went to Russia, maybe I just played the hell out of it and did not want to let it go. It was, I don't have a memory of why I've kept them, but I'm sure because my dad gave them to me and I lost my dad. So when I moved to Arizona, when I was 18, was I going to let something my dad, my precious dad, who was gone, gave me go? No. And then, you know, it just becomes part. I mean, really, this thing has been to Arizona, about four places in Arizona, back to Maryland, and storage. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five places in Maryland. And, you know, she had her time. But I'm pretty sure it's because... They were broken. I played to death with them. This poor thing lost her arm. That's, y'all, that was not easy. Um, but she smells. So, yeah. I think I had played with them and I just did not want to let them go. And now I can. How serendipitous, right? That I choose this box. Um. Okay, well this was 25. Um, I have one more to film and I will have reached 1,000 things. It's just interesting to me that this is stuff that a lot has to go in the trash that are memories that are old. Memories are with me. It's not my stuff, but here we are. I'd say it's pretty symbolic. And like, why today did I choose those things? I have one blue bot, one over there I didn't choose yet, so. Sometimes our forces greater than ourselves. Thank God. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Just comment. Like, do you have a box of stuff you just carry around? I know a lot of you have already done this, you know, and um, have let stuff go. But what was something hard that you let go of that you never think about that you thought you couldn't let go, but now you're just don't even think about it, right? All right, thank you so much for your continued support, your comments, and liking and sharing and all that good stuff. I appreciate it, and I will see you.